Cat Driscoll. I'm British and I'm a trampoline gymnast. Oh, Driscoll has done well. I love the feeling of flying, defying gravity. I love that challenge. Just scores and takes some catching. I said to my dad I'd be an Olympian, and it's probably the proudest moment of my life. Emily Ndongi, French basketball. The easy two and finishes. Team Spirit love to play basketball. <laughs> Let's fly! It's good! I'm just so proud to be an Olympian. Nice to meet you, Emmeline. <laughs> Did you ever made basketball in school, maybe? Um, when I was a little bit younger, maybe around 12, and then we focused on netball, so I've had a, a small try at it. Yeah, just a... Uh, <laughs> OK. I'm not sure that netball's going to transfer too well into basketball for me, because I think it's the moving, kind of dribbling around bit that I'll have the problem with. The shooting, I think, will be fine. Okay, we're at the trampolines now. Ready to give it a go? Excited? Really excited. I want, I want to go on it. <laughs> I have uh, experience in gymnastics. When I was uh, younger, trampoline, not really the real one, never. First of all, the ball. It's a size six. That's the only difference with uh, men's basketball. They are playing with a seven. Is that because your hands are small? Yes. Okay. Even if it's bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> The hoop is the same high, men's basketball. The white bit that we've got here is what we call the bed. All the springs are underneath the blue safety matting under there. That's the force that propels us upwards. Safety, obviously, is very important. We're jumping very, very high, spinning and twisting quite a bit. So we'll have all this safety matting around just in case anything does go wrong. We've got red markings on the trampolines. So basically, the key is to stay on this red cross here. This is where we get no deductions. Okay. If we land with our feet in this zone, we get a deduction of 0.1. We get a deduction of 0.2 if we land here, and we get a deduction of 0.3 if we land here. <laughs> Stay in the golden zone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a layup. It's the basic in uh, basketball. It's just dribbling, one, two step. It's easy. OK. <laughs> Yeah, but that was three step. <laughs> You're gonna do the catch and shoot. You catch it and you shoot directly. Okay. That easy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh! Uh, my job is never. <laughs> We're gonna do a little one one. Okay. I'm just. Uh, in offense, you're in defense. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Easy as that. Easy as that. I feel like a netball bit of it, I'm doing really well. So kind of standing and shooting, but it's kind of moving around and controlling the ball that's definitely much harder. Like I found the dribbling bit really hard. Is this making it fair? But the shooting bit, I think, going back to five school years of playing netball has definitely helped. The way she do the thing, it's not basketball way, but she is successful. Okay. I'm going to be interested to see what you've got, see where we start from. I've got a little routine in mind that I want you to try, so I'll show you that now and we'll see how we do. Kat is crazy. She's jumping so high, all the twists. I just can't say, wow. <laughs> easy, easy for me. Put down, you can jump up. So you don't want to be jumping too high, just no. to get your balance at first, find your bearings. Okay. A few couple of little jumps. Good, and then try and stop. <laughs> the tramper was just amazing. I was kind of a kid. <laughs> Let's go and do some layup. Okay. Ready for that? Yep. Just dribble. Two step, not more. Yep. Okay, you just made one step. That was not good. Okay, 
You're getting better and better. We're gonna do the catch and shoot. You have to be lower a little bit. You're shooting the netball yeah. shooting. So the basketball shooting is different. One under like that and the other one on the side. You're done on your legs. What is important is the wrist. Okay. Okay, that's great. So we're gonna do a little one one. Okay. You're ready for that? You have to put your body in protection. Okay. <laughs> so the first skill we work on is what we call a tuck jump. So basically you bring both knees up to your chest at the same time. Okay. So you jump in. Okay. Try and bring those knees really tight up to your chest. Good. Okay, have a stop. And the next one is going to be a little bit more challenging. We're going to do a half twist jump. So we'll start facing this way. And we're going to end up facing this way. That's good. Good. <laughs> How would you feel about trying all the way around with a full twist? Body nice and tight. Good, really good effort. That was really easy. So the next one will be the seat drop, which everyone calls the bum landing. So not too high again, jump in, arms up, just lift your legs up. So the top half doesn't move, doesn't lean backwards. So remember, just lift your feet up gently. Okay. <laughs> Not a bad try. <laughs> you need to bring your feet up a little bit higher because you need to land flat. Because at the moment, you're landing with this bit of your body uh -huh. touching the trampoline first, so it's harder to come back up. So you need oh. to lift your legs a little bit higher. restaurant cafe at Lillish National Sports Centre, the trampoline gymnasts have very high protein diets, low carbs and specific carbs. So we tend to eat at least two hours before we jump just so there's no feeling of food. Yeah. It's not the best idea having food in your stomach and kind of spinning around. <laughs> the day of the game, um, like pasta and chicken or turkey, and sometimes it was red meat and three hours before the game we get a little, we call it collation, yeah. so a little snack. Yeah. And, but we were eating whatever we want, so I'm so frustrated <laughs> for you. <laughs> Once I took all the complications of it out and made it really simple in my head, it was a lot easier. That's perfect. Oh no! So you made a mistake! So it's no, it's two on three. I have to give you a high five. I think I was definitely not as good on the catch and shoot the second time round. Oh, okay, that's it was not a basketball shoot at all. You shoot with one hand and think about the wrist. That made it harder. Okay, that so was a basketball shoot. That so was a basketball shoot. I definitely think I improved from the start. Ah, so close! The last challenge. Ready? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Look at the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Protect your ball. That's better. Brilliant. The one-on-one -on -one was really hard. Like it was the movement. Obviously, like she moves so quick. Like she's obviously a lot taller, and and it was just any time I got a little bit of space, I got excited and then lost concentration. And the ball kind of went everywhere. So that definitely showed me that I thought I was doing okay on the other things, and then when you put it together and it's one-on-one, -on -one, I realised obviously that I'm not as good as. I thought I was. <laughs> she really improved today. I give her instruction and right away she can change the movement. So as a basketball player, she is not too bad, definitely. For the challenge, we're going to try and do a little routine of the skills you just learned. We're going to go with the half twist jump. Mm -hmm. We'll do the tuck jump, the seat drop to half twist to stand. Okay. One more tuck jump and then the full twist jump. Show me, please. <laughs> right. Uh, 
that's the challenge is to get to all of that with no extra jumps. Okay. We can work a little bit on the technique, but I think from what you've learnt today and what you showed, brilliant effort, I'll give you six out of six. <laughs> I wasn't sure at the very start how easy she would pick up linking the skills, because sometimes it can be very easy to learn them in isolation, but it's not having those free jumps in between that sometimes people find hard, but she picked that bit of it up really easy. Can I do more? <laughs> Amazing. It was great. I'm, I make my routine. <laughs> I'm so happy, really. Okay, so just have a little fun and see if we can score. Not bad! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's it, go on trampoline. Basketball player. <laughs>